Hello everyone, I hope you're all okay and uh, had another, well, you know, good week, if good's the word, I'm not sure, but I hope your week was okay and things are going well for you and your friends and family are all safe. Um, I said I was going to do something a bit more colour this week and I will, but unfortunately because you've been doing so well with the perspective, I just want to try one more thing with it before we move on. So... Today's session is going to be split into two. The first part will be following on from where we were last week with the um, landscape drawing. And the second part will be something a bit more colourful, which I did promise. Um, I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to, I'm going to talk briefly in a minute about each bit, but then I'm also going to send some images for you to look at. Attached in this email should be two images. One is a photograph of a scene which is pretty, pretty fairly obviously Norfolk. Um, it's a scene with a good perspective and it's got some lovely kind of shady contrasts which I wanted, to, which I wanted to sort of work with a bit today. Um, so. If you also with that image there'll be another image which is of a painting which I want you to look at and this is the kind of thing I want us to start thinking about so we've looked at colour and now we're going to look at sort of um, shading and areas of light and dark as well as colour so we're just adding a few more ingredients but with this the picture I want us to work on the main photo uh, I want us to again to work on this as a landscape and to do the micro sketch and break down the perspective and the other areas in it. But also this time I want us to do a sketch of the view broken down into areas of dark and light shade to really beef up that contrast and give depth to the uh, image you're hopefully going to work on. So that will be the first part, and I'll email, as, as ever I email and use WhatsApp to communicate with you and send you more images as we go along, but mainly be working for the first part of the lesson with the one image and experimenting or, or you know, using that. The second part, uh, I want us to look at colour again, and I'll send you a, during the break, I'll send a short extract or, or sort of bit of writing which I've, I've taken from somewhere else and it basically explains a few simple principles which are the colour complementation or co complementary colours, uh, colour context which is the kind of the relationship between colours and colour harmony and I want you to sort of, sort of think about those in the second part. Now the second part will be based on the photograph of the flowers, the forget-me-nots. And as I say, when we get on to that, I'll talk more about it then. So in the meantime, uh, I'll email you again at about 10.30 uh, UK time, for one that's in Germany. And uh, I'll then go into detail for the first part of with the first images of the landscape. And then secondly probably in about an hour and a half into the lesson, we can go on to the uh, abstract work or the colour work, which I think will, you can, a bit like last week, sort of goes, you know, you can take it and go with it further into the afternoon and into the week. Anyway, uh, speak to you over, and, you know, speak to you as and when during the morning and I hope you have a nice, uh, well, hope you enjoy it. Bye.